Hey, you guys, welcome to Pretty Chicks Invest. My name is Jen, your exclusive business coach. I help women start their businesses and turn their skills into what? Dollar bills, okay? So you guys, I want to come in and talk to you guys real quick about how to start your meetup, okay? How to start your meetup. I'm gonna tell you what to do, okay? If you wanna know how, you need to talk to me one-on-one. -on -one. Consult, you guys know, the link is in the description. All right, let's get to it. First thing you're gonna do when you want to start a meetup, I want you to not go to meetup yet, but I'm gonna give you the things that you need. You're gonna need to do. So the first thing is first, you need to come up with a great name for your tribe, okay? You need to have the name of the group and the name of the tribe because I have um, started, and now at this point I've started um, three meetups and I've gotten rid of two but now I'm finally gonna stick to it. But you wanna come up with a great name that is gonna catch, his pe catch people's attention, okay? The second thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to plan events. Actually, that's the first thing, plan events. Even if you just plan two, at least have at least two scheduled. So you wanna have at least two in your mind, okay? And what you wanna do is you wanna keep a consistent day and a consistent time. I know some people like to keep it consistent across the board, like every third Sunday from five to six, but you can even bring it down to like every Saturday, a certain time. It doesn't have to be every third or fourth or whatever, but you need to stay consistent so it can register in people's minds. So example, minds is every Sunday, I mean not every Sunday, once a month on a Sunday from one to three. That's it and that's all. So you want to make sure you're coming up with two meetups because the great thing about meetups is that when you go in to set your meetup up, you want people to know that you already have something ready to go for them, okay? And then uh, the third thing you're going to need to do is be prepared to customize your meetup group. I started my meetup group five days ago. I have already had 75, you guys, 75 women be interested in being a part of my group. Now, I actually got rid of five ladies because I sent out a, a request to them to provide a photo, okay? So that was um, something else. Um, number four thing that you are going to want to do is go to your group settings and set up all the things that you need. The reason why I had to remove those ladies is because I did not go in originally to set up the rules for my group. You can do things like request a photo. You can do things like make your group private, which I did because you want to also make sure your group feels exclusive. Not everybody is going to be a part of your group. Even though when people do send you a request, more than likely you're going to say yes, but you want it to be exclusive where you know more or less who and what type of people are actually going to be entering your group. Okay, and the last thing that I'm gonna say is make sure that you have a great description and great a great banner, which goes along with um, customizing your your group. But I want you to to go and go on Canva. Okay, go on. Um, use your Adobe Photoshop if you have it, and you want to create a very nice banner because the thing about people joining your group is that. People want to know that it's set up. People want to feel invited, and people want to um, belong to something that is is already put together. Okay, that's why I'm saying before you start your meetup group, you need to do these things. It's other than the customized part, but the customized part will boil down to you creating a banner before you start your group. Um, I want you to create a photo for your group, and then I want you to create nice photos for your events. Yes, that's why I'm saying plan out two events so you can already have those photos created so as soon as you log on and launch your group, you already have those things in place. And um, when you customize your group, you get a chance to ask them, um, you can set your group on private. You can um, ask them to respond to a question. A good tip that I saw that I'm gonna add to my group now that I did when I began is um, you want to be able to have the phone number of your group members. So that's one of the things. You can actually ask questions to people before they get accepted to your group. So I would do three things, maybe something very simple like what's your name, what's your email, and what's your phone number. That's it. That's all because people are either going to give you one or the other because Meetup is not going to give you people's phone numbers and Meetup is not going to give you people's emails. But what they do allow you to do is they allow you to send out emails to your group 
for the people that are selected to be a part of those emails. Um, something else I suggest you do is make sure you have you have a written welcome ready for your people when they get added to your group. The great part about Meetup is that they've gotten very advanced. So they actually have a section where you can write a blatant Meetup welcome. And I wrote something simple like, hey, welcome to the group. Thank you for joining. Make sure you're checking out the next Meetups. And I hope to see you there. Thank you for joining. You want to thank people for joining, so do not leave that part blank. You guys, I hope this was helpful. Being that I am going to be actively running my groups especially because um as of today i've made the decision i even want to get the money i made the decision that i'm going to pay for my group six months out um as a side bonus real quick the reason why i think meetup is good for somebody who owns a business is because you get to build a tribe you get to build awareness about your business and you get to sprinkle the fact that you do a thing in that group and being that you're the leader, people are going to already look at you as the expert. They're going to look at you as the go-to person. So they're more than likely to um, buy your services or your products than someone else. So if you are a business owner, I ask you and I beg of you to please do a meetup. Even if you just do a meetup for three months, because that's three months of you having people in your business ecosystem. That's three months of you building content. And I'm actually going to give you guys a strategy that I'm using myself because you're going to be doing this meetup and it's going to be more than likely free. You can charge for events, but I, I'm taking the, um, like I've shared with you guys in my, um, business planner. So make sure you guys get it. I'm taking the Gary V approach to jab, 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 right hook. So I'm having a free event, free event, free event. My last event will be a paid event where I plan to recuperate all the money that I either spent or put in and make a profit on my last event but first when you get people into your ecosystem people have to first believe in you and believe in what you do I am a business coach so what I am doing is I'm getting women to come and be a part of the group okay and I'm gonna do everything pro bono meaning free dot com complimentary but every time I'm doing my information or giving them information I'm sprinkling the fact that I'm gonna tell you what to do if you want to know how and you want to get one-on-one -on -one questions answered that part is going to be where you either need to be co get coached by me or you need to buy one of my programs because the thing about my programs is that i usually answer more than people ask for so i'm answering the questions you probably already had so say for example if you have a question about setting up a facebook group i have a video for that if you're asking about how to uh, forward a domain i have a video about that if you guys are having a question about how to start a membership group i have i have an answer to that if you guys are asking how to start a consulting agency a, a small mini setup i have an answer to that so i'll be able to provide that thing to my people but first they have to know me they have to believe in me before they get my product because what people do not know is a lot of times when it comes to a service people are not buying your service they're buying you okay when people are buying a product from you they're not buying the product they're buying it from you because they believe in you and they believe in the things that you've said so I went on a little ramble there but what I do want to go ahead and make sure you understand is that before you must plan your meetup before you start your meetup and the good thing I like about meetup is that they give they your first off your group has to be approved your group is not automatically approved so if do not go and create this group as such a business structure you want to create this group as a community because that's what it is you're building your tribe so you can help the people that you can help and bring awareness to your business your brand your product and your services okay but you are building a community so you cannot make it so business focused you have to create your events or your meetups as though it is for the community this isn't about selling your product okay that's why you hear me use the keyword sprinkle in the fact that you have a service and or a product but that's after you provide massive amounts of value jab 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 right hook okay you gotta jab them up first then you hit them with the right hook and the right hook is your product that can help them change the game okay so you guys i hope this was helpful i'll talk to you guys later i have more information about meetup this ain't the last one this is just something i'm, I'm gonna get get started with and i'll talk to you guys later bye you guys